Hey guys, Kaylee here and welcome back to the Honeystead. I got a phone call last night about some bees and we're gonna do everything that we can to help save them and bring them here to the Honeystead. So come on with me and, and enjoy the ride. So we have made it to our destination and let me just say this is going to be a pretty exciting adventure. We're waiting on the arborist to come and hopefully work our plan together to be able to get these bees and take them back to our farm and safely relocate them. But I'm going to show you kind of what we're dealing with. So what's really cool about this operation are these bees are actually about 30 to 40 feet up and we are going to play with some pretty heavy equipment to be able to safely secure them. So our plan of action and what we're going to do is ride this big boom up, wrap the bees up. If you look behind me, eh, can you see about a little bit, hold on let me lower it. So right about there are where the bees are actually coming in and out of. There are two entrances that we can see. So we're gonna actually secure the entrance with some saran wrap, cut little holes in it, and then I actually have some metal mesh, some screened mesh that we're gonna secure over it for extra protection. The family of this estate has been asking for a while to see if there are any beekeepers out there that can help safely relocate these bees. So with all the resources that we have and the team of people here that are willing to help us and the equipment, we're going to be able to secure the hive in the tree and be able to relocate them safely. Now this tree is an oak, it's definitely an old oak. The last two months it started showing signs of dying, which is why it has to come down today. And today's actually a perfect day for it because I don't see that many foragers out, so our plan is to be able to secure the bees in and get them back to our farm. You ready? I am ready. Let's do this. Are you ready? Mom's gonna actually have a camera down below and be able to videotape the whole process from her perspective, and I'm going up with this camera, so this is gonna be fun. So they're definitely honeybees. We found both entrances and we are going to wrap them up. I'm gonna put the camera down just because we're 40 feet up in the air and we're gonna do it safely. Oh, you got some. What do you need? Tell me. I 
and then I stapled the duct tape right to it. Mm -hmm. This is newer, so that's not as seasoned. It might come off easier. Looks like it's newer. Remember, it'll stick. Won't stick to the tree so much. Yeah. So pull it as tight as you can. You go around a couple times, and then now I got something to staple. Okay. I promise we're going to give you a good home. So thank you for working with us, girls. The bees are secured inside the hive. We are riding the boom down. Gonna wait for the arborist to come in. We have a game plan to how we're gonna take the tree down and that's it. So the arborists have made it. We came up with a plan and I'm gonna actually be the camera guy. Um, they are gonna go up into the boom with the chainsaw and then they're gonna start actually taking some of the branches down around that are not connected to the colony inside the tree. didn't go as well as what we thought. The tree ended up splitting. However, inside the there's still quite a bit. We're gonna still salvage them. to cut the portion of the tree fully and especially where it's split as you can see the bees are not really happy um, but this is the thing these bees were not gonna make it they were gonna spray them in order to get this tree down this tree is definitely rotten and the owner of the house and the children it's just it's not a safe tree and it needed to come down now we realized that it didn't go as well as what we planned, but that's all right. We have a couple of things that we're gonna do. The comb is still very much intact and a lot of the bees definitely survived this. This is where it split open. So we're gonna go ahead and pick the tree up, wrap it as much as we can to secure it, to get this colony still out to our farm and allow the arborist to continue working and getting the rest of this tree out of here.
we're doing right now is just securing the colony that is inside the hive. We did use stretch wrap. There are still plenty of openings. We are going to make sure that we put mesh in, let them get some oxygen. Um, there's still quite a bit because of the split and the tree was so large. Uh, but this is a massive colony. I mean massive. We were able to secure the portion of the tree that actually had the hive in it. There are thousands of bees still in here. And so far, everybody looks good. Now we did lose some. And unfortunately, knowing that we lost some to save the entire colony uh, is, is worth it. So I was able to peek up into the tree and I saw plenty of brood. I see honey, I see pollen. I am sure that this colony is actually gonna do very well. So we're just strapping it to the flatbed and we're gonna be on our way home soon. This is what inside the hive looks like. As you can see, this tree is completely hollowed out, but it goes all the way up. And the comb completely withstood the drop of this tree. Now, we have this piece right here. Um, this part is what actually fell off and snapped open when this tree came down. We took it with us because it was full of bees, mm -hmm. and now we actually are gonna utilize it to seal up, to actually screw this piece back into this piece to completely contain this hive. Our next plan is to, here in the next couple of weeks, get some plexiglass, actually turn this into an observation hive and secure it with wood on top so that when we wanna peek in, we can peek in and see what's happening. Okay, I got my end in. All right, you break, can you brace it like that? I can. Okay, because I'm gonna come around here. I got it. Actually, I can hold it and prop it in place. Okay, girls, go on. All right. It's gonna have to do. We have a 
tad little piece. All right, now we gotta push it. Um, okay. I gotta way. lift. This Watch way. your fingers. Okay. That's about as close as we're gonna get anyway. This screw might screw it back down. That's gonna be a hard one to find. Just remember that hole. Okay. That's on there. All right. Brilliant. Okay, so now I need a piece of board, and I can put a piece of board right across that. Wow. Look at the daylight. You can see the daylight. Now we have a tradition here on this farm where whatever colony that we've rescued, whether it be a swarm or a complete cutout, we end up naming it after the location that we were able to rescue them from. Now this hive is not only special because the family had been searching for a beekeeper that would be willing to come in and help rescue them, but to our surprise when we got to the beautiful farm, we found out that it was our Virginia State Senator, Jill Vogel. And because of that, this hive is now and forever going to be dubbed as Jill's Hive. The plan is to leave them be and see them through this winter and then hopefully next year be able to help relocate them into another hive or maybe possibly even turn this into a horizontal hive. But definitely stay tuned for what we plan on doing with this beautiful hive. As always, thank you guys for watching and don't be afraid to get your hands dirty and learn something old.